Our train is approaching, nipping into Leeds for a connection to Barnsley and then Peniston. We're going to walk between Peniston and Denverdale and we have the drone with us. and we're going to just nip out, get some milk and some a sandwich or two, something like that, and then we'll get on the, we've got like 40 minutes haven't we now for the Nottingham train. I could go straight back through to Huddersfield uh, and then get the Peniston line that way, but uh, we're going to come back that way via the sort of West Yorkshire section of the line. Yeah, it'd be great if we could, get, could guarantee this connection a bit more safely. Anyway, we'll stick with what we're going to do. Denbidale, Peniston. Right, now we're on the Nottingham train now. Details on the screen, as always. And um, we're just about to leave, got the road. We're going up to F-Line, so straight around onto the Up Midland. And uh, not stop to Wakefield Kirgit and then Barnsley. So we'll change at Barnsley and get the Huddersfield train from there to uh, Denbidale. That way we can then hopefully when it passes in the Stocksmoor Shepley double track section, well to film the southbound train crossing the viaduct with the drone. That's the plan of action. So let's do it, keep going. So just leaving Leeds. Four car formation is this is two units, two twos.
gas over quite clearly there. That's not been used for a while. Some years ago, just here in this triangular formation, there was plans for a 100 foot tall brick man. Needless to say, it didn't get built. Thank goodness for that, it would have been a complete eyesore, but I remember it being proposed. So this is the curve that misses out leads, of course. White old curve. There was a platform on there back in 2000, 2001. And that is the old LNWR up to Huddersfield and later the Wakefield. Coming up to Woodlesford. Straight through. used to be now. The main line side of the triangle here, the first side, the number one side of the triangle, as I call it. Go over the motorway, don't we, further down here, just before Altoff's Junction. In fact, we just go past where Altoff Station used to be, which is about here, yeah, there, that was where it was. Dismantled about 1991, 92, was it? Like There's the motorway, looking fairly clear. Altoff's Junction. Join the second side of the triangle round from Castleford and the Freeport line. Oh, this is Normanton, an absolute shadow. In fact, it's barely even a shadow of what it was years ago. They've even wasted a lot how much money building a footbridge just to get rid of a crossing over one track. It's only 30 miles an hour through here in this direction. I think it's 70 the other way because it's straighter. And the platform used to extend right down here years ago. Because Normans, you see, was a stop on the main Anglo-Scottish route from like St Pancras to Glasgow. It used to stop here for about half an hour, or maybe three quarters of an hour for people to get food. Then when Buffy cars were put on trains, it stopped. Right, just approaching Wakefield Kirkgut now. shine like that. <clears throat> it's a bit tarnished. I have done the throw road some years ago in this direction. It's more regular the other way, but uh, let's see, I've done it this way as well. Not sure what on, but I seem to remember. Oh, I diverted Huddersfield way. It went right round by Dewsbury, Whitehall, Curb and Normanton, and it didn't stop here because it couldn't. So it went through a road up to Westgate. I remember that now, yeah. Stop Barnsley now. So you see the, uh, the connection to Westgate pretty shortly. Been off here a few times in the recent past. So yeah, that's the single track connection there to Westgate. Great Northern Main Line from Wakefield to Doncaster, off Leeds to Doncaster. Albury Junction. So we get up the slow line there, so there's a bit of a dog leg to come to the fast line, and then a left turn. <coughs> the main line straight ahead here continues to uh, Murfield and Huddersfield Brighouse and whatever, the LMY main line. So there's nothing down there on a Sunday. There's not much during the week and Saturday actually. Just a couple of Huddersfield Wakefield trains. Not Huddersfield Castle, should I say. Right, 
it somewhere nice at the bridge there, the Criggleston branch as it was known, from Horbury Station Junction to Criggleston Junction, so it was like a third side of this triangle, <coughs> but it doesn't exist anymore now, they took it all out and all the track has gone now from that line. And that's the main road up towards the Bullworth Road, so it's up that way actually. Cribbleston Station, I think we're, I think we're about here, wasn't it? Where this next bridge is. Might be on the other side. There was a building, it looked like it was back there actually. And just up ahead here now, the tracks separate, as they are doing now, to go through separate bars of um, Woolly Tunnel. Each one's a single track bar, which you should see. Why it's been built like this, I have no idea. Right, just crossed into South Yorkshire, roughly here now, in that little bit of a cutting. So, although West Yorkshire tickets are valid to this next station, which is Darton, it's actually uh, done up in South Yorkshire Transport Executive colours, blue and yellow and white. So we'll jump off at Barnsley and then get the next service to Denbydale. That's the Peniston line, which is where we're going to head for shortly. Or well, next, should I say. There's a crossover here now somewhere. Which has, I think, got a little bit more of a shine than they used to do years ago. That there uh, you know, gets used occasionally when trains need to terminate here and go back. The crossover and just go straight into platform two. I think goes that one. Or two. Yeah, so one is the up, two is the down. Today will be nice. <whistles> Finally. Right. Oh. I detect a bit of current bone. Who's left that way? Right, we'll let this go and then we'll uh, go over to the other side. Right, this is heading off to Nottingham. on the opposite side. It's not one of my favourite places isn't Barnsley because it's full of lefties mostly. There's not many. Since we've got a few minutes to kill it, I thought we'd have a little look at this bridge, have a walk over. to be a fairly recent addition. Switch cameras. So we're looking south here, you can see there's a, a trailing cross over there, facing from platform two, of course. And uh, that's how they can see the platform two in both directions. I'll just come from Sheffield, stop there, go back. And uh, of course, the station's just there. It's surprising that the platforms have been lengthy here. Yes, they could quite easily do it. Look how long the platform 2 was because years ago it's having to sit your 125s to St Pancras from here in BR days but that's uh, a long time since you get the occasional turbo start in middle of the main line days but even then stopped it's no hardship just to change your chef is it really right so there's one or two units here and obviously all closed because there's uh, Nothing to do much, except for go for a walk, really. Anyway, let's get back down the station now and wait for the Uddersfield train. It's a shame the level crossing's gone, although I must admit they're actually building on where it was here, aren't they now? Well, you can see where level crossing used to be, just there. Jumble Lane, 
as it was. There's even a signal box just there. I think one they called Jumble Lane. And further it was Barnsley Station Junction. Right, this is uh, southbound service, or south and eastbound, Lincoln. Ex Huddersfield. Our train will be coming in behind very shortly. Right, you should see the feather come off now. Our train is approaching. Yep, they are feather green. And this is our train here. This is just from Sheffield. So let's get on this one and get to Denbydale. Right, he's leaving Barnsley. Let's see old table turn to the left now. Looks like nothing's been decided for some time. That was a long time ago, that is. That's the line to wait for the leads now, straight down there. We climb up here now and head for Peniston. It's quite a climb this first bit, so it's good with steam when they do those tin bath tours. So across the M1 just here. This is slightly realigned now. Is this? The original line was slightly curved further behind us. This is where the alignment used to rejoin round about here. I just switched sides before the motorway was built, that was. And the level crossing is still here, but it's not as busy now as it used to be because they built a road over in the railway. and this is Dodworth. Now we did a walk here on bonfire night, not last year, year before I think you did, didn't we? From uh, Darton to here. Not far off Silverstone Common now, which I think is on the same side as Dodworth, if I remember rightly. See Cannon Hall over there, but oh, he can. The Silston and Dodworth and Darton are quite close. Well, fair war, but it's a Silston Common. Not sure when it was open, but if you Google it, you'll find out. Lovely countryside round here, it is. So, Peniston is next. There's two short tunnels now, well, two parallel, the one's out of use, one is in use, I will go through the one that's in use, obviously. So this is about Oxspring, um, West Silverstone Junction, and now we're going to go Oxspring Tunnel. The gradient's eased a bit now, as you see there, that's the disused one, which you can probably still walk through. Oxspring Tunnel gives way to Oxspring Viaduct now, you'll see that very shortly. Former double track line, of course, is this, this was the Viaducts. We will shortly be arriving at Peniston. If you are leaving the train here, find the gap between the train and platform. Path there runs on the Woodhead line, or part of it. This short section from Barnsley Junction to Huddersfield Junction here at Peniston is about the only section of the Woodhead line to survive east of the Pennines. As you'll see the Woodhead platforms at Peniston, or what's left of them, just here. As you say, it used to curve off up there with the Woodhead line. Although, mostly that was the main line, this was the branch. So, that's it, that's where the Woodhead line used to go. Right, so this is Peniston. We're going to get on here on the way back and we'll go north again through to Huddersfield. Yeah, we're just crossing Peniston Viaduct now. 
this is quite high as this. I'm able to measure it with a drone, get an idea. So it was at this end, part of it collapsed into that stream just down there. Nobody was hurt or killed because everyone jumped clear before it fell down. So it's quite a, quite a structure is this. If I can fly the drone over it, I will do. The MMO TV mast up there. So we're going to be on the opposite side actually, mostly here. I thought we'd film just here just for now. So we should be able to be on this side somewhere. Not sure exactly where, but we'll soon find out. There are paths over there. across the viaduct. I think the track is on this side now. Not quite the Google Earth, it must be an old photograph that from Google Earth with the track on the opposite side. Oh it's a lie though it's not. It has been changed. Let's change back. Anyway we have about eight minutes now to get the drone set up and get it in the air for the southbound train crossing this viaduct. This is heading off to Huddersfield. So I say we're about eight minutes or so now to get the drone in the air. Right, we're ready to do it with the drone now over this viaduct. So stand by for the next shot. just to start view range, just so it completes uh, station to station walk. So I'm gonna walk on the downside of the railway more than the upside. I would think if I can't remember the side at all. Actually. Anyway, let's get going. We'll change the camera. And switch cameras. So, right, so that's looking back towards Uddersfield, which is where we're going um, when we're finished, obviously, but we won't be getting on here, getting on at Penniston. So that's looking towards Sheffield and Penniston, where the viaduct is just, just around the corner there, out of sight. Let's go down these stairs. I didn't realise these existed. Because I think there would have been a possible right turn here years ago. Because there were two platforms. Oh, it is right turn. Oh. Right. It's a right turn. Because don't forget it was double track. This section to Penniston was singled way back in the 70s, I think. And I presume that was the access to the old down platform. As you could come down this way. Huh. I don't know. Never mind. Yeah, you can see that it's been walled up. So yeah, there was there was a down platform at one time. A long time ago, probably over 40 years, isn't it now? I think it was 1977 when it was taken out of use. Because that was the platform, that Great Western loco um damaged slightly when it uh, was routed this way. <coughs> I say routed this way, the train was booked to come this way from 
sort of Bournemouth, wasn't it? Bournemouth to Leeds, and it ended up being taken off at Huddersfield. It's way before my time, but uh, if you're sort of 65 plus, you might remember it as a kid. June 64, was it? Something like that, I think it was. June, July, August. It was summer of 64. Right, so we've come down to this road here now, so you can see the vide up now there quite clearly. I didn't realise we could have done this. <laughs> straight down, straight across. Look how high we are now compared to the track. So it was just up there where I got the drone shot from. Straight down here now. Losing more height. I never thought to just think how high the viaduct is from the altitude of the drone, but anyway, might not have been that accurate with the trees. So we just come from down there. Now you can see that bit that's stuck out just there. That is uh, the abutment of an old viaduct, which I believe was a wooden trestle structure, similar to what you used to get in Cornwall years ago. Right, we're gonna go up to the other main road now, whichever it is, there's two main roads join just up to the right. So head up towards this road. I think Wakefield Road is the one behind us. I'm not sure what this one is. Right, just come down here. The viaduct is still on the right. So that's Wakefield Road over there, the main A636. This is the A635. And it's Barnsley Road, this one. So we're gonna cross over and head up here now towards Upper Denby. <coughs> Part of the Trans Pennine Trail, according to that. Let's do it. Oh, it's a bit of a climb up here, but it's come up that way. There's a path down there under the railway. So let's keep going. <coughs> We've got roughly half an hour for the next train to Huddersfield and then probably 10 minutes after that for a Sheffield service. We curve away from the railway about here now. But we'll come back a bit further, a bit further on. Right, we're not far from Upper Denby. It's not so bad walking up here, is it? It's fairly dry. The railway is down there now, somewhere out of sight, because it curves around in a bit like an S shape. So I'll come back to it just after Upper Denby. Hopefully we might get there, might be in time for the next train. Right, well this is the village of Upper Denby. It is. One thing Denby Dale used to be famous for, I don't know if it still is or not, and that's making meat pies. And I don't just mean your general meat pie, I mean record breaking, humongous meat pies. They probably won't have done it for a while. Yeah. Right, there's a B road up ahead now, turn right onto that, then left onto another path. Right, we've just come out from the left turn there, turn right onto here. This is the B6115, and it heads for Ingbutchworth, I think. So, not very far down here, there's a left turn onto a path. 
could have come down there actually, but we wouldn't really gone through the village if I had it done. Just where that roadwork sign is up ahead. Right, down this way. Can't get this wrong, I don't think. It's a fairly, fairly well mapped path, bridle way even. So I must be through this gate here. Again, there's always somebody with a. It's not a grinder or a drill, it's probably a mower or a strimmer. And someone down to the left. The gate doesn't lock. So it looks like there's a possibly a pig farm there. But no pigs around. Well, it could be sheep. They eat in troughs like that, don't they? Hey, whatever. Let's keep going. It's quite well worn, is this path. All the footprints that's been left here. I don't want to hang around too much now because we've only got about a quarter of an hour for the next train. We can do it. Ah, an open section. Right, the railway is just over there. Not where the first set of trees are, the next set, and that telephone wire. And there is a train due. We'll just hang fire, see if you can see it. Oh, I can just see it above the trees. I thought it would have been a bit more hidden. Right, so we'll get the southbound one a bit further on. Drone here for the second time now and saw the uh, Uddersfield Lincoln service head off. So we're going to head off up that way in a few moments. Let's get things together. Right, so just looking back, I think we might have actually been better flying the drone just here, but uh, we couldn't know that in advance. Right, we've just come down this path here and uh, from Upper Denby. This is the main A629 now here. It's quite a long road is this one. It uh, originates up near Skipton and beyond, I think it does, and goes right down to Rotherham and to watch Sheffield as far as I'm aware. So we'll just go to the left here on Car Lane. This will cross the Peniston line, which is just down that way. We're on car lane and this is looking back over towards the railway. It'd be great if they could cut these trees down just out of the side of the embankment down here. It is. See to remember before they replaced the track here it being jointed track and bullied rail. It used to rattle like anything on this section, particularly around this curve. Anyway, let's keep going. So we're going to cross over the railway just a bit further up and then quickly cross back. I thought rather than walk down the A62 now, which is a bit boring, we'd come down here. Sounds like a car coming, there is.
So oh, well, this might be a nice drone spot here. I think. Oh, this is that farm crossing, isn't it? Just a bit further up. Right, I might just get the next service at the crossing. So this is looking to field. There it is, we're down there in another three or so hours. That's stuck into Sheffield and Barnsley. Right, so I'll head over to the right and across the railway again. So actually on the upside now, we're gonna cross back to the downside and I think stay on the downside nearly all the way to Peniston, but uh, not a hundred percent sure. Now down this, it's a bridle way. Should be more definite footpath, should this, if you can get horses along it. Oh, I think it is. Oh, maybe there's two level crossings and I thought there was only one. Soon find out. Right, there's two crossings. I wonder if that, that set of steps there is probably for mounting and dismounting from horses, with it being a bridle way. There's one at the other side as well. So we'll stop on the stop on the opposite side and we'll have butties because I'm ready for something to eat now. Piece of rail here, look at it. Yeah, don't forget of course it was a double track line many many moons ago. So you just see the bridge up there, we just walked across. And that's the farm crossing down there. It used to be a bit pig ignorant at one time, that farm, from what I've been led to believe. Because every time the summit went across the, rail, the train and didn't sound the horn, he used to complain. Not sure if that's true or not. But uh, anyway, yeah. Right, I might get the drone in the air again for the next northbound train. <laughs> So the cup of tea and a bit of a break here, this bit of a shelter, what you're going to call it. Okay, and uh, we're going to have a look now over where these lakes are because there's a service to Huddersfield that's been cancelled. So we've got a bit of a gap now with no train, which is a bit of a, a bit of a wiser. Anyway, we'll uh, have a look at the lakes and take it from there. Let's switch cameras. So under that blue bar there, and we'll enter the car park. when we can cross over. <coughs> I 
Oh, yeah. Scout Dyke Reservoir. So we'll see if we can fly the drone here. We should be able to do. Be nice flying it right across the reservoir, won't it? Shame about Penniston Viaduct, but uh, it's not our fault that the train's been cancelled. Hooks and oh, that's all to just to do with what is it that in it and uh, we're not supposed to swim but not got a towel so I've no intentions of swimming let's have a look down here some ducks on it many people fishing And you get poachers these days. It's more 1960s, isn't it? And, and all that you know, poaching. You know, there's people fishing here, so I think we'll give it a, a miss for this time. There is a southbound train which I haven't actually just realised until just now. Look at that, look at that. That's disgusting, is that, isn't it? Bells and bags of dog poo and all sorts. Right. Let's exit, and uh, there is a 15, 15 from Huddersfield to Sheffield, so I'll be leaving Huddersfield in about five minutes. It won't cross anything, obviously, because the northbound train's cancelled, so we should still be able to get that one over the viaduct at Penniston. Right, I've just come down there and across that bit of a bridge there. A little bit of a waterfall here. I think there's even some tables for sitting at. But uh, shame when you notice that. The dam, you can see that grass bank there, that's the other side of the dam. Or reservoir, or whatever you call it. <coughs> so up here now and past these trees. Right, you just come up through those trees there to that gate post and down here now. So we we'll head over to Thirlstone. I think it is then cut back across to Penniston. And hopefully we should get that next southbound train crossing the viaduct. It's really annoying that there's been cancellations. Just when I said it's not as likely these days because service is a bit better than it has been years ago. <coughs> right, this is Thirlstone. It's just a bit of a village and whatever. So, head through here. Southbound train is at Honley as we speak. So it should be okay. I didn't really want to just walk down that main road, it's too boring. I think it might be right here. Right, and I don't know why that says road closed and diversion left because there was didn't appear to be any need for it. So that goes straight down to the main road now. We want to go down here, the green. I think we should do this easily. We're gonna have time to wait for that train at Penniston. You can see the vibe right, right in the distance now, just above that car. Right in the distance. That's what we're heading for. Penniston Viaduct. Right, it's coming through the gate just there. And could have come down there, but anyway, we come this way. Quite a clear path here. You can see Penniston straight ahead. So let's go down here. Right, just come to this bit of an industrial estate just here. 
and uh, there's a little footbridge here over a stream. So this is quite, this is quaint. Oh, look at this, how quaint. There's another one up there. But I don't think we're gonna need to go across that one. Oh, there's a duck fighting with the current. A lone duck. Oh no, there's a female next to him. There is. Let's continue. This will take us up to the main road now, I don't think. See if we can get to the upside of the railway on this occasion. Oh, it's a bit wider, is that bridge? Anyway, we don't need that one. Right, we just come down this road here. It's a road, even though it actually shows a footpath. There's a footpath up there, and this is blocked off rather annoyingly. I mean, obviously, if there's an incident on another road, it's difficult to get around. So we're going to go down this path here and then head for the viaduct. Right, well, I'm sorry to say, but we've knackered it up again here. The train's approaching the station now. I thought we'd have had enough time. I'm busy talking to a couple back yonder. So, I don't think we're gonna see it. Well, we might with the camera, but not with the drone. I think perhaps I should have just walked straight down that main road. I'm not waiting for another one now, let's just come again. Because obviously the next southbound one's canceled going back into it, of course, so. You're going to be really late if we don't. I could still film the viaduct with the drone, I suppose. I think oh, it's here now. Look, it's, it's coming over. Shame we haven't got the drone up in the air, but. At least we didn't miss it entirely. Right, we're just by the viaduct now. There's no train due until the one we want to get on. We need about half an hour to go to Huddersfield. So I'll just get a few shots here of the video, a few minutes worth of video of the viaduct, check the height, and then uh, we'll head to the station.
Right, this is the ground view of course, so let's walk up to the station now and get on the train to Huddersfield. We've only got about a quarter of an hour to do that in, shouldn't, be, shouldn't take too long. Right, that bridge down there is what we're going to go across shortly. This is the wooded line that was, and up to the left is the station. It is. So this is what the this is what was the wooded line. This one, and there's people walking on it because it's a walkway. Right, about ten minutes before the train gets here. Roughly, it's on the line from here to Barnsley. I didn't want to be later than this because obviously it's going to start getting dark in another hour. First time we've been out and used the drone from full capacity to empty, so we've done pretty well. Even though we did miss that train on the viaduct, we'll get it again sometime later this year, perhaps. We'll see. So Peniston actually is, or rather was, a bit like Meadow Hall with a V-shape of platforms. Two platforms there for the Huddersfield line, Penniston Huddersfield line, current line, and then the Woodhead line platforms, which are up here, which we'll have a brief look at. There's not a lot left, but this is where it was. It closed when I was 10 years old. There, there are the Woodhead platforms. It's absolutely disgraceful that they shut this railway. It will be so busy now, it would. And there's the, it's looking towards Manchester. It's just unbelievable. It is. All that money to invest in back in the 1930s, obviously the war halted it and it was probably thought at that time it was never been completed, but it did. Completed in 1954 and then the passenger service lasted until 1970, early January, and it was finally closed to everything, freight, in 1981, in the summer. And the last day was actually a pretty crap day, from what I've been led to believe. So, we want the next train to Huddersfield now, which is 1622. This is our Lincoln Central cancelled, so we won't be passing anything on the Shepley Stocks Moor section. So I'll stop view range in a minute. Right. Oh, we've got two signals obviously, so you can start from this platform and go towards Barnsley. We've got the road already. I can just see the viaduct down there. So yeah, it's about 18, 18 to 19 meters high. Probably just 18 to track level. Right, this is our next train now. Huddersfield service. We're going straight through to Huddersfield with it. Right, we're just leaving Peniston now, heading to Huddersfield. So you'll see where we flew with the drone shortly. There's a shunt neck or a siding just there, which doesn't seem much use by the look of it. So because we're on the opposite side of the viaduct, it might be a bit awkward. But just down there, park. So I've done uh, about six, seven miles, I think it was. I'll check it anyway. See so yeah, we just we don't just down where them benches are down there. See a few more locations where we walked earlier. So this is where we were, just here. We walked up that path there. 
Right, this is where we were earlier as well. A bit earlier than we were there. The trees. Not as easy to see, because of all the, the, even the trees in full bloom, it'd be less so. Oh, that was the gap there. We, got. Yeah, we walked up there, I think, didn't we? Because we saw that path as it comes down under the railway. Didn't use that path though, but we walked along this bit here. Down there, and you can see the divide up now. And we're on this side now because the track was realigned right on the edge. The old up alignments no longer there. So it's quite a good view, is that? It's almost as good as flying a drone. before the bridge, the upside is the other side. Shipley. It's only one letter different to Shipley. Stocks more. So, back now to single track shortly. And then we're entering the tunnel. Longest one between Huddersfield and Sheffield. anything at all in the loop here because uh, the southbound service is cancelled unfortunately yeah, nice drone shot from up there won't we might walk from stocks more to brockles next time possibly this is Honley we're just leaving Uh, of a Brockles back here, didn't we, a while back, a couple of years ago. There's a bus here, yeah, no buses in it though now, is there? And it's closed. It's a K line, I think. It's a, yeah, it was K line that had a, def, had a yard here, but there's nothing in it now. It's almost a bus moved. Honley's unique because in West Yorkshire it's the only Red X station. And at Berry Brow, we walk down there. Onto the main road back to Lockwood. Part of the Meltham branch as well, I think, didn't we? It's on the other side, is uh, Benny Brown, as you can see. Because when the single bit back in the late 80s, they uh, just had to build one platform for Benny Brown. Another big viaduct coming up now here, and we're on this uh, downside, of course. It's Lockwood Viaduct. Which is a bit higher than Penniston, but might be wrong. The Meltham line now came into these trees here. Where the bus is. So, yeah, that was the Meltham line. You can walk on part of it. It's coming here. See Lockwood shortly. And then it's Huddersfield. And the chances of connecting with that uh, direct continuous service is slim. It's a minus five minute connection, I think. But we'll get the whole train and go through to Leeds and get it there. years ago. See so yeah, this is Lockwood. Oh, Staten. <laughs> Ticket machine. Right, not far from Huddersfield now and this is Haddock Viaduct, half stone, half steel. We're on the wrong side really for a, a look down. It's, uh, you see the Huddersfield Narrow Canal down there. Scrapyard. And the Manchester line's over there now. That goes through a short tunnel, Gledalt tunnel, yeah, we don't. Just go through the main Huddersfield tunnel. 
get a drone shot up there, I think it'd be quite good. I might do that one day. Right, there's a connection with the main line, the up main, to get into platform four, but we're not taking it obviously because we don't need to. Springwood Junction, you used to be able to cross right over and go through the down tunnel. That's uh, there's a bit of shine on it, so someone must use it quite regular. Right, made it to Huddersfield. In platform two, obviously. In the original East West End of platform one, as it was. A couple of other bikes there, the kids' bikes. It's that player coach, isn't it? That's the original platform two. So I think you'll find we just missed the lead service for cutting it. It's not there, is it now? So we'll get the whole train, go straight to Leeds and come back. Easy enough to do. So that's what we just used. Right, we're on the whole train now, straight to Leeds. Just missed this coming in at Huddersfield because I was busy talking to a member of staff. Anyway, we're on the way to Leeds now, so let's get to it. Straight to Leeds. Right, coming up to Dewsbury. We're going to do the centre road. about one train an hour that does this now. Not sure what the speed is, it's either 70 or 75 straight through. Nothing to overtake. So yeah platform road's 40. So, another walk under our belt. Two walks in two consecutive days is pretty good. A 1 0 job again. Shut the doors. It's a minute later, is this service than the usual pattern? I don't know why.
Well, that's been a pretty good day anyway. Can't remember how far we walked. It'd be about seven miles, I guess, seven to eight, I think. I'll check it anyway when we upload it, and then you'll see, won't you? So, yeah, we'll be going somewhere tomorrow, I'm sure. But, uh, well, I don't know, we'll see. Later in the week, perhaps. So, anyway, this is me signing off now. So, cue music. See you in the next video. Bye for now.